Ladies and gents, welcome to the second week of the Ellen Staff's Dancing with the Stars recap. And now, introducing our co-hosts, Tracy Gold and Chris Cavell. Same. We're right here. Yeah. It's <laughs> New York week, so I got a little carried away. <laughs> We're back in the cube, and really to kick this week off, we have to, they gave me some fun tools. Yay, props. And this is a sandbag, and if I just <laughs> no use all my strength. I'd help you, but I'm not gonna, you got it. Here we go. Yeah. Lower it, lower it. You guys are fun! Chris, give it a spin! Give it a spin! Oh my gosh, you guys, this is another great week for Dancing with the Stars. And by great week, I mean you've got to have four hours in your day. It was two full nights of competition. First was New York night, and then Tuesday Flashy. was Vegas night. Oh, everybody Which loves Vegas. Vegas night is always one of my favorite nights. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, you guys, I have to move this. I'm sorry. Go back <laughs> so up. Distracting. I got you. The scores <laughs> are ready for week two are so oh, No high. room for improvement. Okay, well let's start off and just talk about night one, which couples we thought were the best. There were three for me standouts mm -hmm. uh, from night one, and I'm gonna start with one, Milo Mannheim this night showed me that he could end up being a front runner. We yeah. never really had him in our top four. I mean, maybe as that fourth no. one that could be in and out, but he really showed that he has it. Yeah. Kind of came out and surprised me a little bit with that cool subway. Yes. Dance. He, he was pretty cool. I still think I did some research on him. He's got some experience. So I always have a hard time with people who are you know, first time dancers, but he did bring it. Uh, okay, another <laughs> front runner that I thought uh, from Monday night was Tanache. She's incredible. I mean, she clearly just, she's really, really good musicality, mm -hmm. which guys, they always say that. And as someone who doesn't know anything about dance, mm -hmm. when you're watching this, you're like musicality. And so I like tried to use context clues to figure out what it is. It's like I the, think it the means, accents, like the ta, ta. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like how good she is to like to move to the beat. Yeah. <laughs> you you take like the counts out of your head and they're more like embodied in you. Yeah. So it's like the ta ta ta. Yeah. It's like the boom cat. No, ta, 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 ta. And moving on. Yeah. The third person who I thought was in Kreab was my like I find him to be the sexiest mm -hmm. person that ever entered the ballroom. Yeah. Juan Pablo. We got it. I yeah. mean they have such good chemistry that like their dance ends and they're like I know. And that. I'm like, yes. make out! But they're not going to, right? Somewhere Matthew no. Lawrence is going, that's my gal. Yeah. Like, Somewhere. I'm watching you. Yeah. Got All right, so the couples that we, that kind of had the worst performances are like the not best, because mm -hmm. I don't like to say the worst. Yeah. yeah. Because I love him so much. Yeah. Grocery store Joe. In defense of Joe, I think Joe gave us a week two performance. I think he improved on week one. Yeah. He got better scores. And he went from not being able to dance to, he, he was he looked but, really cute. Well, I feel like by week two, I think you mean he had a week, week two? No. No, Chris, that Chris, no, Chris, that works. But here's what you said to me. You go, I didn't see him do anything till 20 seconds in. He like no. walked around. Yes. Yeah. And then that's it was what, like, oh yeah, I gotta dance. Right, that's what they all do. Like if, if you're kind of like a little insecure and you don't know the movement, they'll set this whole world up. Right. And then before you even start dancing, it's 21 seconds in. All right, so who are we most surprised by for night one? I would have to say that I was most surprised by Ivana. Yeah, I think, I think she really there, came right? out and yeah. she really like brought it in. I, I don't necessarily think she's one that could go all the way, but I certainly think she that she's- She could be a dark horse because she's got a lot more confidence. What she needs to do also is just like homework. When she was just walking down and like trying to do that like Beyonce walk, mm -hmm. like go home, watch Beyonce. Walk go, give us the house. walk. Walk straight to that camera, give us the Beyonce walk. Oh my yeah. goodness, is Bea here? Oh my. Oh. Oh my he god, and you, know, he you, you only had two steps and you still worked it. She, Gotta I, lower the ball wait, for that one. Watch your heads. <laughs> Drop the ball. <laughs> way to go, Chris. That was amazing. Perfect. Eight. Two Ten. So we always have to talk about. There's a I, character in the ballroom. There's, there's a, a character. There's a character in the ballroom, and that character is Bobby Bones. Bobby. Here's the thing about it I am not here for it. But she's even saying, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing his own thing. No. Like, well, so, this is two weeks so in a row he, that he's doing his own thing. Well, and that's the thing. So he comes out and he dances, and I actually was like, okay, Bobby, like you're bringing it this time. And then he ends the dance, and he does a, he adds a floss on. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think is just almost a little disrespectful to Sharna. Also, right. it's just his face, too. He's always just like. Ta -ta. Yeah. All right, so that was kind of the end of night one. And I have to tell you, by the end of night one, I didn't realize we were getting a whole full night two. I did not either. I it was a would full do... night two. Because it was... Vegas, Vegas night! I will have to say, we got a lot of Vegas cameos. Yeah, but you know who they couldn't get from Las Vegas? You know who they could not get? Magic Mike Live? No. They good, couldn't good, good, get yes. Britney Spears' real voice. Oh, yeah, for a second, I got it. Then dances to Britney's song, and she was even in Britney's, like, she danced with Britney on stage, and she has a song with Britney, and yet they got some person, It, I think it was me. Hey, let's give it up to Rachel Live. Okay, so let's talk about the dancing. 
Who do we think was most improved from night one? I thought Ivana did better from like w Monday night to Tuesday night. Yeah. Like, cause she had that confidence, you know, she was in that like, that airstream. I, yeah, I agree. I think she was uh, improved, but I also think we, we know that they always say who they think is the best for last right. or maybe the most improved. And so right. that this time would have been Mary Lou. And I thought she did uh, great. The thing I love about Mary Lou is that she actually dances the whole time. Yeah. She's not doing this 21 second, sorry Joe, setup <laughs> where you're just like creating a world and How like you really you're kind of getting into it and you dance for 10 seconds. Seconds. For me, she's like a classic competitor that starts a little slow yes. and she's getting better and yeah. she's progressing and she's having fun with it now. Totally. Um, all right, let's give a uh, favorite performance of the night. It's tenace. Yeah. yeah. Like the whole time. And her really, musicality. Really oh, yeah, you see, you're getting it too. Six. I'm not going to give myself a 10 yet. I, 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 I have was, to grow. A one? Mm, seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. You really had me on the edge of my seat there, Chris. I know it took me it took me just as long to write that seven than it did for Joe to actually start dancing. That's good. That's yeah. good, Chris. So then we ended the night in the last like two minutes with an elimination. I was Boy, like, oh god, are we gonna... do it. It, it was, was more so... like a sweeper away. Oh yeah. yeah. So we end up sending home Danielle, and I have to say, she did not take it well. So so put her on the monitor. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I guess I won't be working for the next. 12 weeks. It's cool, you get to stare at them. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so before we go, we're gonna start this brand new segment, and it's called, Who Did You Spot In The Audience? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it again. It's called, Who, Who Did, did you, you Spot In The, the audience? audience? So, this is my favorite part of the show because I always look in the audience, they always have celebrities or yeah. random people. Past dancers. Past dancers, somebody, and they never acknowledge them. Nope. Never, never, never. Mm -hmm. And nope. this week was no exception. We got two of my favorites from Bachelor Nation, Ashley, I, and Jared. I loved yes. it. I who, loved were, it. Who were there with Kendall DeRuta on the grocery mm -hmm. store, Joe. Of course. You guys, we also had somebody who I recognized, and I didn't realize why she was there, Cameron Mannheim I from know. The Practice. I put them both together. I was like, wait, that guy, Milo Mannheim. Wait, same last name. I know. <laughs> on night one next to her, I yeah. was like, wait a minute, is that Marsha Gay Harden? Marsha yes. Gay Harden. I, like, I love Marsha Gay there? Harden. And then for me, I, uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I know, just Jesse totally Tyler in the back. Just totally in the back. And then like two acts later, he's, he's serving pretzels. pretzels and eating pretzels. Anyway, mm. that's how you play Who, Who Did You Spot in the, the Audience? Hey. A big thanks to y'all for joining us. And don't forget to tune in next week. And comment below to tell us what you think. Spin it. Dun, 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 no, but you know what I mean. Like, she's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did a break? No, we're good. Oh. <laughs> Danger in the ballroom! Danger good in the ballroom! But really, my darling.